In this video, we will take up certain modifications of plasma membrane. Now, what exactly we mean when we say modifications of plasma membrane? We have seen the structure of plasma membrane, but to perform some additional functions, the plasma membrane shows some changes. So, those changes are taken as modifications. Normally, this modification can be on the free surface or between the cells. Once we take the examples, it will be clear which ones are on the free surface and which ones are on the uh, inner side. So, first one which we are talking of is microvilli. Microvilli are finger-like projections on the free surface of the cell. If this is a cell and purposefully we are drawing a columnar cell here, on the free surface, let me draw one more cell. This is another cell, another cell, this is the nucleus. So this surface is the free one and on the free surface side there are finger-like projections. These folds are known as the microvilli. And microvilli increase the surface area because if the cell has a flat surface, only this much surface area is available for whatever exchange has to take place. But if it has finger-like structures, then all the surface area around these finger-like structures is available. So the main function why these microvilli are present is to increase the surface area for absorption and the location where we find these microvilli one such important location is the intestine small intestine where absorption of food has to take place and there are about 3000 microvilli per cell of the intestine so each cell has about 3000 microvilli that means in per cubic centimeter there are millions of microvilli which are present and all these microvilli would help in increasing the surface area for absorption similarly these microvilli are also present in the lining of nephron like in distal convoluted tubule of nephron whenever this finger-like structure is present. Such kind of an epithelium is known as brush-bordered epithelium. Brush-bordered epithelium. And whenever we write brush-bordered epithelium, we know that we have given this name because of these fine structures which are present on the free surface. And wherever we find these brush-bordered epithelia, they help in increasing the surface area for absorption. So this one modification is when the change is seen on the free surface of the cells. Now the second one which we are talking of, they are called junctional complexes. And whenever we use the word junctional complex, that means we are talking about certain changes in the plasma membrane between the cells. Here we need to just understand one simple thing that between the cells there is a space which is known as the intercellular space. Normally 150 angstrom distance or that much of space is available is the intercellular space. Intercellular space approximately 150 angstroms is the intercellular space. Now, if there are certain changes which are taking place in the plasma membrane between the adjacent cells, then those are termed as junctional complexes. Let us talk about one. This one which we are taking here are called interdigitations. Interdigitations. Inter digit means finger and if the cells are connected with each other by these interdigitations 
Let us draw two cells to understand what exactly is happening. This is one cell and here the membrane is showing these kind of folds. And here comes the other cell. The other cell's plasma membrane is also showing these kind of folds. So this is one cell, this is another cell. Had it been normal situation, in normal situation, the cells would have been like this. This is one and this would have been the other cell. So between the two cells or between these adjacent cells, only this much surface area is available for exchange. But because of this, one cell has given rise these finger-like projection, other cell also, and they fit into these each other like this. So the surface area for uh, exchange is all this membrane of the folds. So this is also similar to microvilli, but here it is between the cells, whereas microvilli were on the free surface. So this is for increasing the surface area for absorption of substances and this is to increase the surface area for exchange between the adjacent cells. So function here is to increase area or surface area for exchange of substances between the cells, between these adjacent cells. So this is the function of interdigitation. Let us take one more example of this junctional complex. This is also between adjacent cells and it is known as tight junction. It is called tight junction. First, let us understand how this modified structure is and then we will see the location where it can be found. If this is one cell, the outer side has these extrinsic proteins and the adjacent cell, this is the other cell which is here and this cell also has its extrinsic proteins. That means the extrinsic proteins, the outer proteins of two cells have fused to form some welding kind of things. It can be termed as spot welds also. Whenever we have to uh, join to metallic plates, we join them at certain intervals. So it is sort of a welding thing. So what is the purpose of having this modification of plasma membrane? Is adhesion so that the cells, they remain stuck to each other. So here, this is, these are extrinsic proteins which are joined or which are fused. So this actually acts like a spot weld. It acts like a spot weld so that the cells, they remain together. Function is adhesion, that is keeping the two cells together. Adhesion is the function. So whenever we want all the cells of a tissue to remain together, then in all those tissues, we would find these tight junctions. Now, a slight modification from tight junction is known as gap junction. We can take that gap junction here because it is very similar to tight junction. This one is known as gap junction. It is also same. Protein proteins are there, but there is a septum, there is a membrane connection which is there. That means if this is a cell and here is another cell, there is a connection of proteins and this protein connection, again, this is a connection which is made up of proteins and through this substance can move from one cell to another. So here there is a connection. Here only outer proteins are fused so that the cell just remain stuck to each other. But in this case, a septum is formed and this septum is made up of protein. Through this protein, substances can move from one cell to another cell. This particular gap junction is found in cardiac muscles. And this particular arrangement helps 
in synchronized contraction of cardiac muscles because there is a connection between cell and cell. So these are certain junctional complexes that we have taken here. One, interdigitation. This is for increasing the exchange between the cells. The second one, tight junction, was only for adhesion so that the cells can remain stuck to each other. And the third one, which is found in cardiac muscles especially, is again a connection of protein and protein, but the protein has formed a channel kind of a thing through which the substance can move. And this is known as the gap junction. Few more junctional complexes we will take up in the next video.